To use new structural shape commands, we first need to go to a structural tab, then we will move to the modify panel and select cut openings. With this, a new menu will appear up top and we will first focus on the cut openings by polygon points. I will select this option and now I can select the structural element and then I will be prompted to align the view to a certain plane along our element. I will select this plane as side to our structural beam and now I am aligned to the structural element. This will make it easier for me to draft up a polygon that I want to apply the cut to. So I will first just draw a simple rectangle As you can see, the cut has been applied. With that, I can now select the structural beam near the area of the cut, and the green rectangle appears. I can now drag the vertices to edit that cut. I can edit the depth, the size of the cut, but we are not limited with this option to only rectangles. We can also do different shapes. With this, I will repeat the cut openings command. Select the element again, align the plane, and I will now start drafting a different shape. And as you can see, a shape doesn't have to be a rectangle. We can also edit that shape again by dragging the vertices, moving them around, changing the cut shape of the beam. With this done, we can try out another option of the Cut Openings tool by Circle or by Arc. This option also allows us to select a polygon that's pre-drawn and cut our element along it. So at first, I will just draft up a circle. And with the circle drafted, I can now cut our element using that circle. As you can see, the beam has been cut, and we can also edit the size of the cut. That's already done. We can also move the cut around, so we can move that to the bottom of the beam. And you can see the cut has been done. This auxiliary circle can now just be deleted, as it is no longer necessary for editing our element and the cut itself. Now we'll discuss the cuts by Boolean and inverse Boolean subtraction the last two remaining options here. This type of cut allows us to subtract one solid from another. So I will start with Boolean subtraction first. Now I'm prompted to select the element that I want to cut first. So I will select the beam. I will select the view alignment. And then I will select the pipe. The pipe will act as an element that will cut our beam. And as you can see, the beam has been cut by the pipe. I will do the same thing for another element, this time using inverse Boolean subtraction. So I'll again select cut openings, this time by inverse Boolean subtraction. Again, I will start with selecting the element that I want to cut, which is the beam. I will select alignment, and then again I will select the pipe. As you can see, the subtraction was inversed, meaning we contained our cut beam inside the pipe. And that would be all for the new structural cut commands. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.